In this video walkthrough, we're going to be showing you how to adjust an image that has come out with an overall light pollution cast to it, like this image of the Milky Way or any other nightscape image. The first thing to do is to open up your image in photo editing software. We'll be using Photoshop. We'll first be showing you how the editing software adjusts the brightness levels, the tones in your image. Now, if you're feeling lazy or just a bit pushed for time, and if your photo editing software has the option, you can just click on auto levels and this will adjust all the tone levels in your image automatically by what the software thinks is the best amount. Depending on the type of image you've got, this can sometimes create quite desirable effects. However, we've found that you generally get better results if you adjust the levels manually. Now, you can do this by opening up the levels palette. In Photoshop, this is found through the top menu by going to adjustments and then over to levels. This will open up a histogram which to be honest looks a lot more complicated than it is. It's simply a graph that shows you the amount of dark and light tones in your image. Along the graph's horizontal axis are all the different tones from pitch black on the left to pure white on the right and up the vertical axis is the amount or the quantity of each tone in your image. Now you can see that since our image in the Milky Way is quite dark its histogram shows that most of its tones are towards the darker left side of the horizontal axis. The tones axis has three sliders just below it that you can use to change the amount of dark tones, mid tones and light tones in an image. By moving the black slider you can increase the amount of dark tones in the image. You'll see in this dark image it very quickly turns black if we move this slider. Moving white sliders alters the amount of light tones in the image and moving the grey slider increases the amount of mid-tones in the image. So that's an introduction to the histogram. Now let's use it to take care of the orange cast of light pollution in our image. <laughs> so in the levels palette you've got a red, green and blue option RGB. Now let's first select the red option since our image has an overall orange red cast to it. We can see there's a lot of reds in the dark side of this image which is what we can expect of an image like this. At this point, in adjusting the levels, it comes down to your personal taste and preferences. You can experiment with each of the three sliders individually to see which brings your image closest to what you remember viewing on the actual night that you took the image. So, for this one, we'll reduce the mid-tone red slightly. Then we'll switch over to the green channel. You can see from the histogram that there's a lot of green in the dark portion again. Adjusting the sliders does something slightly different this time. It changes the colours in different ways. Again, it comes down to how you want the image to look. So we'll bump up our green slightly in the mid-tones and we'll bring the dark greens down slightly. Finally, we'll go to our blues. Again, each slider will affect the colour differently. So you'll adjust this again until you're happy that you've got something that resembles what you saw in the night or just how you would like your image to look. At this point, you can use the preview key, which most software editing programs have, to switch between your original and your finished adjusted image. Check that your level adjustments have done exactly what you wanted them to do. Now, once you're happy with the color adjustments at this stage, you can return to your RGB channel to work on the overall contrast by adjusting the red, green and blue levels all combined. Keep adjusting your sliders here until you're happy that the tones match what you remember. You might want to bring the light slider up slightly to pick out details in the stars in the image and then you may want to bring down the mid-tone slightly to darken the night sky background and increase the contrast with the stars. Then once more you can use preview to check how it looks now against the original and if you're happy with it click OK and there you go your nightscape image will have greatly reduced effects of light pollution.